At the moment, UK taxpayers can look at the cross-channel train operator Eurostar and say, I own a bit of that, but not for much longer. The Chancellor is selling the state's 40% stake for three quarters of a billion pounds. Kat Hobbs is director of We Own It, a campaign group for public sec- service users. Dr Eamon Butler is director of the Adam Smith Institute, which supports the free market economy. Kat Hobbs, what do you make of the Eurostar decision? Good afternoon. I think the decision is a disaster, really, because what we had was a public asset that could be run for the benefit of all of us. And George Osborne has sold it off. It's an ideological decision that follows many others, many other sell offs and a lot of outsourcing under this government. What makes it a disaster? Well, basically, this, this, we could have this service run for the benefit of passengers. Um, so Eurostar made a profit last year of £54 million. Pounds. Now, that is money that is now going to be going away from the UK um, and towards private shareholders. Well, what's going to happen to the £750 million, pounds, though? Well, that's, that's a short-term um, addition um, to the Treasury, but it's not long-term thinking. And what we've actually seen is that privatisation has failed again and again to deliver long term. So it's about short term selling off. Um, but in the long term, all of us suffer. You know, we've seen what's happened to rail fares, water bills, energy bills. They've gone up and up. Meanwhile, you've got perfectly profitable services being run publicly. And the government says, no, 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 we can't have that. Let's give them back to the private sector. Dr. Eamon Butler, a windfall now that we'll live to regret later. No, it's a pretty good deal for the taxpayer, actually, because of that profit, the British government has been getting about eight million pounds a year. Um, it would have to, to wait nearly 80 years, I think, before it got that uh, money back in, in terms of the 751 billion that it's, that it's getting. Million. So, uh, it's million, sorry. So that would be, uh, you know, a very long term, uh, term to wait uh, to, to get value for money, quite frankly. So I, I, I think uh, there's nothing wrong with this. I think that the, uh, it allows us to, to pay down the national debt. Uh, I think it also means that there's more money in taxpayers' pockets and they can probably invest that much better than the measly 4% return uh, which the government gets on its capital. But at a time when some people are saying, let's renationalise all the railways... Isn't this a step in the wrong direction? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, if you look at, the, look at the railways, they have actually performed very much better under privatisation, that uh, season tickets are now cheaper than they were at the time of privatisation. Uh, usage has roughly doubled. Um, so, you know, this is a success story. Not a disaster then, Cat uh, Hobbs? Well, actually, I mean, if you look at our railways, they're now mostly run by foreign state-owned firms. So passengers in this country are subsidising lower fares and better services in other countries. And you have to ask why countries like France and, and Belgium aren't choosing to sell off their stakes. Um, and I think, you know, also, if, if you think about the fact that the public wasn't even asked about this, you know, so this is our asset that belongs to us. Um, and we didn't even get a say, um, which is why we're campaigning for a, a bill to give public service users some rights over this, because the public wants to see railways, energy, water in public hands. And yet we don't get asked when George Osborne sells off our assets again and again. Eamon Butler, where is the accountability? Well, I I don't remember the British public being asked when all that government money got put into this uh, deal in the first place. And the fact is that the government is clearing a profit of something like £585 million on this deal. That is money which can be go in to, to pay off the national debt, to reduce the interest p- payments on the national debt, and to put money into the hands of uh, taxpayers and to investors, which will uh, benefit the entire economy much better than, than, a, than a government investment can. Governments are not very good at running businesses. Do you dispute the assessment that rail users in this country are subsidising rail users abroad? Uh, yes, indeed. The, as I say, the, the, the cost of season tickets on, on r- rail is on average lower than it was when railways were privatised. And, and we're providing better services, you know, uh, man, many, many more services, many more trains running, many more passengers being carried. Can you say that wouldn't have happened if they'd stayed in public hands? Well, uh, nobody can say that. But, uh, but the difference is remarkable. Some of us can remember the old, the old British rail, which was um, a, a story of decline. And that story of decline has, has been changed. Exactly the same happened in, in bus sectors and, and other sectors which have been privatised. So it's, it's generally been a... Of course, we made mistakes because Britain was the first country to do this on any big scale. Uh, but it has generally been a very great success for, for users of these services and for the taxpayer in particular. 
Well, Cat Hobbs, Dr. Eamon Butler, thank you both. We'll hear what our listeners think. PM at bbc.co.uk.